Well again everyone, today we have a larger Converge here, Gundam Converge that is, is EX20, chassis NZ000, Queen Mantha, but it's actually known as Queen Mansa, uh, according to fandom. It's called both really. It was featured in Mobile Suit Gundam ZZ. I haven't seen any of those things. Uh, let's see, when did this come out? It says Bandai 2018 there. Illegal jargon. A rear view shot. I like the chassis code is molded in. No call out. Okay. Oh, but we have some details about what it's supposed to be. 30 to 40 meters or so, 260 tons, and a whole lot of thrust. Okay, a nice beam saber. Okay. Opening this up, let me scroll down and you can uh, read that text if you want. What to say here? Mobile suits, advanced technologies. Uh, oh, why? This is just a. This, this had nothing in it. I mean, this box was brand new. You saw me open it, right? What the heck? Strange. Mega particle cannons and 30 funnels. Those are like your remote controlled missiles, which I think are over there. It says the cockpit is inside the head and it can detach to be an escape unit, so that's kind of neat. It's kind of like the Xeon. Uh, it can be controlled externally. Alright, I think that's all I care to know. Here's another one. I guess they're just using this bubble wrap as just padding to keep the stuff from shifting and during shipping. Which makes sense because shifting is the worst enemy of damage, you know, it causes shipping damage when things move around inside the box. Oh, see, I almost cut through that thing on video really makes life more annoying. You think it's easy to make YouTube videos, but I suggest you try it. It's not, <laughs> it's not that easy. That's why I keep all my videos amateur. There's just no reason to make professional videos when YouTube doesn't really pay you anything. Here are the parts out of the bag. Uh, let's take a look at the thing piece by piece as we put together. So it's quite sizable, actually. Uh, bottom of the feet, no peg stand or anything like that, no stand at all. Nice details though. There's actually some printing here, uh, some sort of beat china and some sort of production numbers. There's some gunmetal here at the hips. Not too much detail here. Very strange. Yeah, it's a very plain looking robot. It's not fully slathered with details. Oh, but now it's looking nice. Let's see in the back. All right. <clears throat> I don't know if these are thrusters or just heat heat vents, but I like the red. Those look like thrusters. And then you can see all the details of that right there. So that's pretty neat. All right, uh, big peg thing here. And a gunmetal torso. Some hoses running up from the front up to there. It's venting there. Alright, more stuff that's probably going to get covered up. Little vents there. Okay, big yellow thing here. I think these are mega particle guns, maybe. They're red and yellow, so that's nice. It's, this yellow is much, much darker. So you got the dark feet in this chest piece, and then you got the light yellow in these little other areas. So that looks pretty good. Let's see. What is it here? This must be the head. So the head, yeah, you could probably dip that in hot water, but I think the antenna is straight enough for me. It feels rigid though. I feel like that might not be uh, a PVC. And this comes off actually, so I don't know if that's a thruster back there or what. It's just, oh no, well, it's just it's hidden away. It doesn't matter. No different color here. I think it's supposed to be black, according to 
of the images I pulled up. Look at the eyes, they're like transparent and they're magenta. So that's pretty nice. I like that. I like how the light bounces around in clear plastic. Alright, uh, these little guards for the side of the face. I like how they're floating. The bottom of this head is all black, glossy black, and then, uh, interesting. Well, I kind of feel like maybe some color would be a bit cool up here. Some sort of, just a cross sign there. Alright, so not so bad there. I like how this gunmetal back here, and then also, oh, I didn't even notice the light yellow is up here as well, and the heat, heat ribbing there, bent ribbing. Well, unfortunately the head is so sunken in, unless you leave it out, you, you can articulate it if it's not even pegged in. But it's not even pegged in, right? You can also like fake it like that, although that looks a little weird. Well, if you're going to actually set it down low, you're going to have no articulation because it's going to collide right here. <laughs> it's interesting, it's so close to this thing. So I'm a little curious how tall, well, you know, we should maybe wait till we put it all together before we measure how tall it is. According to the instructions, we have, uh, uh, here, these things go into these side things, I believe. So first, I think this is a sword, a beam saber, and oddly there's a half circle or like a three-quarter circle there instead of a complete circle. So it's a nice, nice, nice uh, sword and all, but it looks like you can store the handle in here, on this peg. <laughs> well, you're supposed to. It seems like it's colliding with, oh, well, maybe if it do it this way. There it goes. All right, so that's cool that you can store that away. And that's got the, the lighter yellow here, a little scratched up though. A little red in there for a vent, so that's nice. More ribbing, golf ball texture. The outside is kind of plain as well. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine ribbing up there. All right. But let's save that because I think we're going to need some arms first. So this arm, uh, you got to be kidding me, this hand doesn't even come out as part of this, I think. Well, it is a separate piece, but it doesn't rotate. The design of this robot is kind of weird, right? It, it can't twist its hands. There is an alternate hand here. Oh, okay, so that can hold a sword, whereas this one is a fist. What about this side? Same, same, okay. So I guess this one I'll have holding a sword. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, the dark yellow, some gunmetal again, light yellow. Does this rotate? Nope. Some venting or something, and some hoses that just terminate in airspace. But you probably won't see them, so it's a big, whoa, this peg is so, I don't think, look at the difference between the that peg in this hole, it's gonna be a, well, it did get in there, it's stretching it quite a bit. So it's quite tight, that, that thing. Okay, so that side is there. Is this symmetric? Yeah, they look totally mirrored. I like how the hoses here, floating in air. Being a fist, maybe I'll have it punching like that. All right, so now, think about this. I guess this should be on this side if you took the beam saber out. Unfortunately this is a rectangle not a circle or a hexagon. Right? So if it was a circle you could pose these things but without the circle you, you can't pose it. Maybe they're doing it because the hoses here are supposed to terminate in there. But I think uh, I think it'd be nice to have that option. And now it is smart though how they did do that. Look at how the hoses actually recessed into that shoulder armor, or I think this is called a vernier or something, a thruster. Alright. 
So this side will keep the handle, and that's why it just has a fist, or she, whatever this robot would be considered. Alright, so I like how that the hose terminates, but still, could have been playable. This is the back, or not. Maybe it's not. This is the back. So it's got the chassis and the Xeon logo, and then the 30 funnels, it said, or something. Missiles just come out of this thing. And some vent details. I see. So there's a lower tail. That's this one. It's kind of plain. <clears throat> Alright, so that lower tail. And then this upper tail slash funnel thing. Boy, I don't know if I can get it in there with the arm in this position. Let me try this first. Just wiggle it in there. There's no way that's going to fall out. Okay, now let's see if we can get that arm. Ah, oh, it's colliding right there. So, unfortunately by design, it's not going to get much articulation if you're going to press the arm close to the, the torso. If you pull it out, I guess you can do this. <laughs> well, that doesn't look too bad. But if you want it tight, that's the way to do it. And then, let's get that sword up in here. Well, hold on. Oh, this must come apart. Yeah, alright. I was wondering how to get this into the hand. Ooh, that's pretty tight. I wonder if that's going to strip the yellow paint off. No, nah, maybe not. <sighs> I might want to do this off the arm. I don't know if there's a shape to this. Nope, it's just round. For some reason it went in easier that way. Uh, I think there's a, this has a D-shape, but this looks round, but maybe inside of there, there's a D-shape. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, now we got sword action. And, you know, if the guy can't really pull his fist out to punch, I guess I'm just going to double-wield this guy. Oh, but, yeah. What do you think? With or without the swords? Yeah, I'll we'll just leave it alone. The video's getting long already. Alright, so just gonna pull out a few robots here. Here's a perfect Xeon from the perfect Xeon set. They mentioned Cubelis in uh, that article. So there's a Cubely which is number 168 in the overall Converge series. This doesn't have any sort of number associated with it. And then number 273 relatively recently releases a Zaku 3. This is a Psycho Pressure Suit version in metallic. This one's awesome. I did modify it though. I added all these jewels and extra paint and stuff. Uh, it's a that's a really good. I love that that one. It's one of my top favorite ones I think for the regular line of uh, converges. Okay, so now I guess we should probably see how tall this guy is. It does look like these were taller than the antennae. I'm gonna have to stop the rotator. Just looking here, yeah, it's about four and a three eighths, or around eleven centimeters, if I had to guess. Maybe that's a better better angle. More like ten point five, almost eleven centimeters, a little over four inches. Okay, here it is in my hand. So it's a sizable sizable figure for especially for a converge i'm not noticing these look like separate pieces but maybe they're oh, i hope they're glued in place the thrusters have no details here so that's kind of unfortunate let's let that spin again yeah let's get these guys out of here This is a cool Converge, but I gotta tell you, don't buy this one. Uh, the reason why is 
Bandai is going to put this out again, uh, but it's going to have graphics printed onto it. I didn't know this, of course, when I ordered this, so it's a real shame. I don't know if I'm going to buy the one with the graphics. The, pr the thing with graphics is I can't duplicate them, you know, I can't tample print my own stuff. Uh, we'll have to see, we'll have to wait and see what happens when that other one comes out. Okay, well thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in the next Converge video.